Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a sweet Code Blocks lesson. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, we are going to make a seat for a car. Our first step is to go to Code Blocks and then click Create New Code Block. When this screen pops up, click on that new design choice. And when the design pops up, we're going to call this Car Seat and press Enter. All right, friends, when designing with code blocks, we create objects. The first object I want to make is going to be at the top of my car seat, and it's going to be the headrest. I'm going to shorten it to just HR. We're going to make our headrest with a shape called a round roof. When you bring the round roof out and hit play, you'll see that that is similar to how a headrest would look on a car seat. We're going to take it and squeeze it a little bit, using the modify command bring it out and scale it friends when you look at this and see front the direction that we're looking at is y so if we take y and make it point three and hit play you'll see that it looks more like a headrest it is also below zero so we are going to raise it up with a move command just because later when we're trying to move it to the final height it's easier to recognize Let's see if it is five below. And what we'll just do is hit play to see if it comes up to zero. And friends, you can see that when we move it up five, it is at the right height. I'm gonna leave the headrest alone and now I'm gonna make the post for the headrest. So once again, bring out a new create object, never reuse these, and we'll rename this one and we'll call it post. It is going to be made with a cylinder. So let's go back to our shapes, bring out a cylinder. Let's open up our cylinders parameters. And I'm going to tell you that we want a radius of 1.5. I'm going to tell you that we want a height of 15. And I always like to make my sides 64. When we hit play, you'll see that this shape lands exactly in our other shape. Let's quickly move it up to zero so it's ready for assembly later bring out a move command remember the height is 15 so 7.5 should bring it to zero i'm also going to speed this up so they happen instantly you can see those are at zero zero now and we've got two parts created i'm going to set my parts in a row so it's easier to see things as i build now let's create the bottom of our chair bring it out rename it and let's call this one bottom and we're going to make it with a cube when you bring out the box or cube shape i'm going to tell you that we're going to make it 25 by 25 by 25. i want an edge of two and i'm happy with the steps of 10. if we hit play you'll see that it is right in the middle of our project we're actually going to leave it right there with the other parts hidden inside just because it doesn't hurt anything. I'm going to hit duplicate and bring another one down below, but make it a hole. I want it to be 23, 23. And then for the height, I'm going to go all the way down to 21. So it'll be a little thicker on the seat area. All right, friends, I want to move this hole up so that it cuts in. Right now, it's right in the middle of this. So we're going to use guess and check to find it. I'm going to try a Z of four and let's see if it pops out the top. Just barely. So I'm going to see if I can get away with three. And then I'm also going to do a Y of negative one as I try and pull it towards me. So see how it's just about poking out. I'm going to change that to negative two. Once again, it's just guess and check until I see that this is going to cut out right where I want. I think I want this a little thinner. So I'm going to take these 23s on the width and I'm going to make it 21 and hit play. Make sure it shows up where I want. So I like that thickness and I like the back of the chair. I think that's going to be a good car seat. So at this point, I'm going to come over here and hit create group and hit play. So friends, we have got our three parts. We've got the seat, we've got the headrest, and we've got a single post. 
Let me show you how to assemble the entire chair. I'm gonna move this up aside so all my parts are in a row. I'm gonna pull out a create and put it below them. And I'm gonna call this one CS for car seat. The car seat is gonna use the seat first. So what we do is add a copy of the object. And we're gonna add a copy of the seat, which you can find down here. Remember it was called bottom. And then we need to get it to the right height. So we're just going to bring out a move. And we're going to guess that we have to move it up 10. And hit play. So we'll see a second one show up in just a second. See how it's below zero a little bit? We're going to try 12 instead. And play. That's perfect. And now we can delete the part. So when we do delete object, we go back to math, and this will get rid of the bottom that was sitting right here. I'm also going to pick a color for my chair right here. I want the bottom of my chair to be black. So when you hit play, so there you can see now I have a sweet seat for my car. I want to put these posts up here. We're going to do that by bringing in a copy of the object. So once again, add a copy. This time we're going to add the post. I know that I want two of these, so I'm going to duplicate it. I'll set this one below. Let's go to modify, and we are going to move. It needs to change Z, and I'm going to guess that it has to go 12 up. And then I also want to move a little bit to the right, which is X. And I'm going to try 8. I'm going to copy that and put it below. And if I do right for the first one, the second one has to be left or negative. Let's hit play and see how that looks. All right, so the posts also need to move back and they also need to move higher. I think I'm also going to end up shrinking those, but we'll adjust that in a minute. So let's go back, negative eight, just guessing. And these will both be negative eight. And I'm going to change these to. 15 and 15. Now that went the wrong direction. Instead of negative, I'm going to make those positive on the Y. And I'm going to try 10 or 11 from what I just saw. Yeah, those are just about perfect. I don't really like them sticking out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my post and click on its parameters instead of 1.5. I'm going to do 1.3 and press enter. So they're just a little more thin. I'm also going to move them a little closer in. So instead of 8, I'm going to do 7 and negative 7. The last change I want to make is I want them to be gray. Uh, do remember whatever color you pick here is the color the part is going to be in Tinkercad because that is my final goal is to bring these into Tinkercad. Let's add our last copy of an object real quick which will be the headrest. Once again go to data and headrest. I'm also going to delete all the parts now that I've got all the parts in. So when I do delete object I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to delete not just the headrest but also the post. So that way these pieces won't be in the way anymore. I want my headrest to be red, I think, just because I think it's going to look cool. And then we need to move that headrest up. Since we've already done a few moves, this makes life a little easier. Notice we're dropping it in between. And we're pretty sure that 11 is going to be good on the Y. And we got to go about 15 or 20 up. I'm going to try 20. Let's hit play and see what we made. All right, friends, we are really, really close. We just need to raise this up more. Let's try 30. And friends, right there, you have created a wicked cool seat for your car. All right, friends, that chair is ready, but I wanna add one more thing just cause I think it might look pretty cool. So I'm going back to shapes and I'm gonna bring out another box. I'm gonna make it a hole and I want to cut out this area. 
so it's cut in and you sit in but then it's also kind of got that bucket seat look I'm gonna just hit play and let that show up you can see how it starts out in this area and it's not gonna be wide enough so I'm gonna change the width to 30 so it's plenty wide and I'm gonna change the height to 25 so it's plenty high and let's start moving it once again with the move command I am gonna guess that I want to come out on Y negative 8 and I think Z is going to be about 15. Let's hit play and see how that looks. All right, so that hole shows up. And this is the idea. I want to leave this much back here, but I need to raise it up more. Let's try 20 and hit play. That, my friends, is so close. I'm going to try 22. And I'm going to hit group. Let's check it one last time to see what we built. Does it look ready for a race car or my next cool project, which is going to be a Jeep? I think that's pretty groovy. All right, friends, so once you create a part like this, the cool thing is you can export it so that you can use it in regular Tinkercad. So I've got a project coming up where I'm going to build a Jeep, and now I will have my seat completely built. You can label it, and this time I'm actually going to put car seat for the description. You could give it tags because you may make many parts. I never lock the part size because that way I can make it fit whatever thing I design. You do have to remember that whatever colors you pick here, those are the colors you're going to get in your part. Friends, I hope you found the lesson useful and keep your eyes peeled. For those lessons coming up, they're going to use this car seat as we create some awesome vehicles. Friends, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.